From the 80s to the early 2000s, arcades were everywhere. It was common to go out with friends every week and spend some quarters to play games you could only find there. This is the Arcade Experience. We're ColecoVision. We bring the Arcade Experience home. With the rise of the home consoles, however, came the swift decline of these kind of places. Arcade culture is still mostly intact in Japan, where transit systems and pedestrian rules, but the same cannot be said of North America. Most game centers in the US and Canada closed down over the years. Montreal is no exception to this. Here is the Foron Game Center, one of the few arcades left in downtown Montreal. Even here, the arcade zone is mostly empty. Walking around, you will find a lot of machines, but not a lot of people playing them. That is, with one exception. It's a mix of music, sport, and uh, video game. There's a pad, and there's a screen. You follow the screen, and you move with your legs. I mean, it's, it's, it's a fun game. Like I like pressing buttons to music. It's actually really fun. It's, uh, it's challenging. It has five panels. Not used to that. But it's like my new workout. <laughs> You have a perfect combination of exercise, music, dancing. Honestly, I've always been a fan of like uh, cardio and high intensity like workout, and this is pretty much it. First it was like, oh shit, exercise. And then it's like, wait, this is kind of fun. It's just a lot of varieties. Like a lot of choices that are technical, there's a lot of choices that are requiring a lot of foot speed. There are just songs that are required to do spins. Yeah, crazy patterns, because there's five arrows, there's more more patterns than the four panel game. There's a lot of stream and crossovers, and you have to learn them to clear the song. Yeah, there's so many technical things in the game. Mental, physical. There's, there's everything in this game. It's more of a self-challenge than a challenge against others. Like you got fighting games where it's like one on one, right? But then you got rhythm games which is you know, fight against yourself, you know? Yeah, you're getting better. You see your progress very clear. You complete the uh, like 20, and then you come back the next week. Ultimately you're against the game, not other people. Yes, it was a challenge for me and I saw some of my like now friends who at the time were like strangers and they were playing like eight and ten and seventeen and I was amazed and I wanted to get there. Dancing games uh, kind of brought like young people together. Everyone is just pretty much a big family, you know. Like everyone knows each other. Everyone wants to help each other. Everyone support each other. We met. Uh, we were already uh, both like at like level 14. 15. 15? Yeah. There's like a, a mini competition between each players, and that was make the, the game fun. You're sharing your love not only for the game but with the people as well, and it's pretty. Every year in August is Otakutan, one of the biggest anime conventions in North America. And every year, some of the members of the community showcase their favorite rhythm games. This year, we were able to bring the machine there, and it got crazy. Considering how this was our first year having Pump It Up in the freaking gaming room, it was freaking amazing. Last weekend, which was the first weekend of August, there was a Pump It Up tournament at Otakuthon in Montreal. Whoa! 
look at both tournaments, they were they were really fun. They were high. It was nice to have a diversified group of players. We had a big community. So my first round opponent is uh, James, and uh, we saw him, and he had his he had his leg up. He was tying up his shoelaces on a chair, and so we Mindo and I we noticed how huge his calves were. And I, I just joked around and said, I have no chance. Look at how big his calves are. Oh, a few good players from Toronto actually joined our tournament. They showed us some stuff. I think it has a lot of potential to expand. We're introducing this to new people and a lot of new people are joining. Pump It Up is getting more known as we continue to grow. I, I go back to, to play Pump It Up again and everyone's like playing, playing, like trying to get better. Yeah, it, it's intimidating at first. Um, if you're interested but you're too afraid, just don't be afraid. Uh, it's about you achieving your goals and what you want and how you want to get there. Experienced players like to see new players trying Come out the in. game. Yeah. And they want they want to welcome new players. Definitely give it a try. Like I introduced a few of my friends and my boyfriend at the moment. If there is a new player, invite him to play. And it's pretty amazing to see how they got from a level three to a level six to a level ten now. When I started, I was not even able to pass level once. And as I kept playing, I just got better and now I can pass the maximum of level 23. If you like music, you don't need to know how to dance, you just want to have fun, even lose some weight. We need more Pump It Up machines! More machines, definitely more machines. More right. machines, more players, more fun. I'm excited to see what's there to come for Pump It Up Montreal and Pump It Up.